talking about Jason. I wish he was more open with us about his symptoms. He's not a big talker, whether it's health or anything else, which is why I got so worried when he said I had to pay attention to what you were going through. Well, I'm probably projecting a little bit about my HIV patient. I knew that you would call me on it, rightfully so, which is probably why I went to Jason in the first place. Yes, you mentioned that also. He said that he knows you from a different time, and that it's probably easier for you to talk to him about things like this. Only about things like this. And he also said that he, uh, he bought a bridge for you. Come on. Please don't tell me you're jealous He's about my relationship with Jason. He's just the worst patient I've ever had in my entire life. And every time I try and pass him on to another doctor, I'm reminded that the only way I met you is because you brought me in to do his surgery. It's true. So in a weird, roundabout way, your relationship with Jason is the best thing that ever happened. No. No, I told you how insanely romantic you are. It's incentive to get you home as soon as possible. Well, there's nothing I want more. Good. Here's so we can discuss Jason's symptoms. I already went over it with Jason, so... Well, I would like to talk to Sam as well. Well, I mean, the whole hand thing is, like Patrick said, it might be because I got shot in the shoulder. Right? That's a possible cause, I said, but we're going to check for nerve damage along with everything else. Is tonight the first time you passed out? Yeah. What about what happened on New Year's Eve? Well, I mean, I was out for a minute or two when I laid my bike down. Are you sure that it happened after? It couldn't have occurred while yeah, you were... I, was pa I passed out while I was riding my motorcycle, no way. He hasn't been sleeping. I, I just don't need a lot of sleep. Okay, this is why you make an awful patient. We weren't asking how much sleep you need. We were saying how much sleep do you normally get and if there's been any significant change. Okay, I'll answer this. Normally he gets about five or six hours a night, but lately he's been sleeping, what, around three? And I'll wake up in the middle of the night and turn over. He's not there. I'll come downstairs and he's staring out the window. Any headaches, Jason? I already told you no. Well, not any debilitating type of headaches, just mild headaches, any pain, weakness? Uh, ordinary headaches, yes. No weakness. Okay, I'll, I'll say it. Lately, he's been going still. Like, he can't hear me and he doesn't respond. I've seen it. You did that when I was at the PCPD. Remember, you had a spell, you weren't responding to I, me. I could hear you. I was just thinking about something that, yeah, you know, I didn't want to talk about. You could keep a complete list of Jason's symptoms, keep monitoring him, and let us know if anything No, I don't changes. need to be monitored. Yes, you no. do. You have a complete inability to assess your own limitations. So, can you stop trying to cover and just do us a favor and cooperate? <laughs> you know, Jason, he's going to do whatever it is that he wants to do. Oh, I'm going to take this. Stina. Oh, you're not mad at me. Are you mad at me? Actually, I'm impressed with your ability to finesse the truth. I mean, normally you say what's on your mind, or you just keep your mouth shut. Just so you know, I didn't tell Patrick exactly what you're concerned about. Thank you. I know that you do not agree with what I'm doing, but I appreciate you keeping my secret. Now, I'm going to tell you a secret. Sam is terrified for you. So can you please do anything you can to reassure her? Don't take any risks that you don't have to. At least until we know what's going on with you medically. Got the test results. I was hoping for a little bit more than inconclusive. I ran them twice. I checked the markers for any significant anomaly. You can see for yourself it isn't there. No visible patterns, no clear cause for... I already know the cause. It's got nothing to do with medicine. Inconclusive, that's good, right? I mean, if there was something wrong, the test would have shown up. Inconclusive is inconclusive. It means we need to run more tests. The car is ready to take you to the airport, Dr. Scorpio. Thank you. I'll be right there. i got to check in with the nurse. I'll uh, walk you out when I'm done. Okay. okay. Patrick needs to run more tests. Do not give him grief. Just let them do it, okay? I don't want you to worry about me. And I'm sure you're going to find exactly what you're looking for. <laughs> Certainly hope so. I see. Bye. So, you're going to be a good patient and do what Patrick tells you, right? I don't need my test, Sam. I know why I'm angry, and so do you. Where is Robin going anyway? She's going to Africa.
So you call, you Skype, you email, you do everything you can as much as you can. I will. Dr. Scorpio, the car. Uh, okay, um, well, I already gave Elizabeth a heads up, and I told her you might need some help with Emma. Are you, stop, we're gonna be fine, we're gonna have a blast. I know, miss you, I know you'll fun. be great, but just don't hesitate to call her if you need anything, okay? okay? You concentrate on why you're going there, concentrate on your patient. Oh, and Jason, um, make sure, you know, his spells that he's having, check his parietal lobe, okay? Motor function. Right, and send me the test results as soon as you get them. I will. Okay. Bye. Bye. I love you so much. So much. Bye. Sam. Yeah. What's going on? About what we discussed. Until we find out what's really going on with Jason's mood swings, it's very important that he doesn't get into any situation where he gets triggered with anger, all right? I need your help on this. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll do what I can. Okay. Yeah. I'll check in with you later. Dr. Frank Dr. Frank So you need to make yourself available for any further testing. I already told everyone, Sam, I would cooperate. Okay, well, your definition of cooperation is probably a little bit different than mine, so your job and everything else, that takes second here. This isn't something you can just grit your teeth and ignore. Got it. Okay. 